Hello again. Steel Pennings back again. Today I have this old Slaymaker padlock. Let's see if I can get it up here for you. Slaymaker Genuine Pen Tumbler. And I got this was uh, in that box of uh, tools and stuff from that auction. And uh, I thought it was a really cool lock. But one of the things that... Uh, that caught my attention was the the key that come with it. Let me get you a close up of that. See there, and, and other than that, the bidding's crud. Um, the key that come with it that that should tell you something that that's not a slay maker key. That is in fact a vehicle key. That's to a Lincoln. It says so right on the back. Lincoln Mercury, made in the USA. All right, so a Lincoln Mercury key, right? Well, goodness, let's uh, see here. So we go to put it in, and it won't even go in. So yeah, it's kind of shows you that it, it just it's not gonna fit into that keyway. No way, no how. But uh, if you and, and if you look in there, that is the the correct way. So if I can get it under the light here. That is the correct way. You can see the pins down inside there. That's the top side. And like I said before, it just, no way it's going in there. But turn it over. Okay, so we're not going to put it in this way. Here, we're going to turn it over this way. And, well, no way that's going to work. But looky, it goes right in. See that? It went right in, upside down look again that is the pin side you see the pins and it goes right in upside down but right well it's just because it fits in there right no it works the lock smooth as butter just as smooth as can be upside down Lincoln key upside down that is so weird right so I was like well let me see if I can find the right key for it so I found a Y12 key that will fit in it and quite frankly it will fit in it Which way? the right way haha -ha. see there fits in it the right way but wait a minute that's an uncut key right that's a blank and I put it in there, and it works it too. <laughs> what is this lock? Just Is this a, one of those magician locks that works with anything? He could stick his pecker in it, and it'd probably open. So I was like, okay, let's see what it does with a pick in it. Okay, so let's throw it up here in the vise. Sorry, get here. Okay, so, um, um, get it down there, sorry about that. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to use the, uh, Sparrow's Deforced Hybrid and, uh, Medium Wiper Insert. And I go into the back lock and I already feel some movement. There's a pin, there's a pin, there's a pin. Wait a minute, I should have checked first. That's five, accounting five. Well, you know what, let's uh, stick it in upside down and see what it gives. There you have it. Yeah, it's one of those. Uh, I'm thinking it just loved it, didn't it? You know, just shoot. We just kind of wiggle jiggle it there and it's open. <laughs> it's not open now. Let me try that key again. Let's put it in there. Oh, now the key doesn't want to work, huh? There it goes. <laughs> Gotta kind of lift it a little bit. It don't work perfect. What works perfect is the upside down Lincoln key. <laughs> Oh, uh, Lord have mercy. 
All right, guys. I just had to share this little lock with you folks. There's nothing really to pick there. Old sleigh maker. Made some kind of maker out of it, didn't it? Boy, I wish I could take it apart and fix it. Can't do that. Sleigh maker, genuine pin tumbler. There's our lock. Thanks for joining me, guys. I appreciate it. Peace out. Whoa. Peace out.